Hello everyone, the Blue Pineapple Phoenix here. Something amazing happened. I got to 100 subscribers. Thank you all for that. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing to me. Just as a little thank you, I'm making a special 100 subs Q&A video. We're going to get right into that via Discord. I asked a lot of people if they had any questions about me, and I got a good amount. So let's start. First question is from Kasa Aokiji. You all know him. He's a big One Piece YouTuber with 12,000 subscribers. In case you don't know him, his channel link will be in the description. So Kasa Aokiji's channel, not channel, sorry. His question was, if you would have a known devil fruit for One Piece, but here in real life, which would you choose and why? I would choose Smoker's Devil Fruit, I forgot what it's called, but his Smoke Devil Fruit, because it's a Logia and I would be untouchable, but his Devil Fruit can also fly because Smoke rises despite it being a Melogia, so I would choose Smoker's Smoke Devil Fruit. Next question from R.T365. What do you think the super f future of the Supernova holds? What will they do during and after Wano? How strong will they get? And what will their importance later on in the story? be even if they haven't i think all the supernova during wano they will uh some will be on kaido's side some will be on luffy's side they will fight each other they will fight commanders from each respective force uh i think some of them will just do nothing of course zoro luffy and kid will and law will all do great stuff they'll do great stuff they'll fight great guys uh of course, I believe Kid will fight the Lurking Legend, Luffy will fight Kaido, Law will fight King, and Zoro will fight Orochi, who I believe is stronger than King. Uh, how strong will they get, and what will their importance in the later on in the story be? I believe the weakest Supernova by the end of the series will be strongest Bill Flamingo. I believe they will all be top tier. I believe they will be the next big pirates on the ocean. They All their names will be known and feared. And later on in the story, I believe they will help in the fight against the world government. I believe that's what they're going to do. They're going to be part of the alliance against the world government. And that will be their importance later on in the story. Next question from Izzy. Why did you start watching One Piece? So this is actually a kind of funny story. So I was watching Naruto. I didn't know anything about anime or manga. I just liked Naruto. I vaguely knew it was something called an anime. I didn't know what manga was. I didn't even have a concept of filler and non-filler. I thought everything was just, uh, everything was canon. I, I didn't, because I didn't even know what a manga was. Right, so I was in Naruto and I started to learn about anime. I started to learn what it was. So I started looking, kind of looking at other anime and interests, right? So, One Piece came up in my recommendations list. I read the description. I thought it looked trash. I thought it was some dumb show. I thought it was stupid. So, I kind of wrote it off. So then, I was, uh, watching, uh, some guy animating. Like, animating, uh, anime characters and having them do death fights, right? So, in the description, he said Luffy was in it. But when I thought Luffy was fighting, when I thought he was animating Luffy, he was actually animating Vegeta from Dragon Ball. And I thought, oh, whoa, Luffy looks so awesome, even though this really was Vegeta and, like, Super Saiyan whatever they are. I think Super, some big Super Saiyan power-up. I don't watch Dragon Ball. But I saw Vegeta, and I thought he was Luffy. I thought it looked so awesome. And I started watching One Piece by the time I realized Vegeta was not Luffy. I was already hooked. I still haven't watched Dragon Ball. One Piece is the best. Next question by Ken Kaneki. Okay, so how do you manage time for making videos? I do not manage time. I, uh, just think of a video when I'm chilling or when I'm talking on Discord. I get the idea. I make the video within the next 24 hours or at least start making it. So yeah, no routine or no schedule. I just make them as I think of them. Shaz, what are your YouTube channel plans in the summer? Before I answer this question, I just want you all to know Shaz is a great anime YouTuber. His link will be in the description. I have streamed with him before on Pirate Hunter's channel, who you all know. Check out Shaz, he's great. His channel is uh, called ShazukD Dragon. Uh, link will be in the description. Check out his channel. He's got great stuff there. Shout out to Shaz. So, what are my plans in the summer? Streams. In the... I'll just be doing the same thing, but with a lot more streams. Because during the school year, of course, I do not have time to stream. I don't have time to stream. I gotta do school and whatnot. 
But in the summer, I will do be doing much, much, much more streams. Uh, next question by Dintry. Are you going to be one of the people who will leave YouTube after some time? Hopefully not for a long time. Probably eventually, of course. Everyone's life moves on. I'll probably leave YouTube a couple years from now. I hope not for a while. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Maybe YouTube will end up becoming my career, even though I seriously doubt that. But I will stay on YouTube as long as time allows. That's what I will. That's what I will be doing. Next question by Jerma420. Another shout out to another YouTuber, Jerma420. He's got great stuff on his channel. You gotta subscribe to him. He's got uh, six subscribers right now, so we we want to get him a lot more subscribers. So please go on over to his channel, subscribe to him. Link will be in the description. So his question was, "Hi Phoenix, congrats on 100 subs. I'm one of them." Smiley. Here's the cue. Do you think Marco will appear in Wano, and why? Yes, I do believe a Marco will appear in Wano, because that would be tarnishing the Whitebeard Pirate's name, and Whitebeard's name if he didn't. Whitebeard told Marco to make sure Luffy didn't die, and going to Wano and helping him will be part of that, because without Marco, Luffy could very well die. So I do believe Marco will be going to Wano, thanks for the question. Next questions, multiple questions, three, from Ace. Personal question, this is the first question. Personal question, what major would you want... What do you want to end up going for? I haven't really thought about it. Well, I have somewhat. I do not know what major I will go to. College is a long time away. But of course, you can never plan too early. I was thinking about going into marine biology, but that's not in set in stone. I like drawing, of course. Maybe something like marine biology or being an artist. I'm not sure. But somewhere around that, maybe something completely different I didn't know I liked. Next question of his, One Piece question. If you were in the One Piece first universe, what would your crew be called and what- And would you want to have a devil fruit or no? If so, what will it be called and what will it do? I would want to have a devil fruit. I would- My favorite type of devil fruits are Zoans. I would want a dragon Zoan, a Ryu Ryu no Mi model, western dragon Zoan. My crew would be called the Firewing Pirates. And... That's what I would like, uh, Zoan, Ryo Ryo no Mi, Model Western Dragon, Mythical Zoan type, be able to fly, breathe fire, indestructible scales, all of that's the good stuff, you bet, dragons all the way. His last question, Ace's last question was, anime question, what other anime do you enjoy watching, and would you ever dive into making videos about that anime in the future? I like many other anime, One Piece is not my only an anime by any means. As I told you before, I love Naruto. Uh, I actually do enjoy Boruto. I know many people hate Boruto, but I actually think it's pretty good. I will make a video on that in the future. I like Black Clover. I love Black Clover. I love My Hero Academia. I love Seven Deadly Sins. Of course, I love Attack on Titan. I made a video on Attack on Titan already. Uh, I love Full Metal Alchemist. I actually like a couple non-mainstream animes called Gurren Lagann. Garen Lagan, you should watch that, that's a great one. And Karakuri Circus, you should also watch that. They're both very good anime. And I will be making videos about other animes, occasionally. M mostly it will be One Piece, but I will still be making videos about other animes. And, uh, once One Piece finishes, if I'm still YouTubing at that time, I will just dive into other animes and make videos about those. Next question by Hades Neil. When are you quitting YouTube? Oh, I answered that in Dian Traits question. I will not quit YouTube in the foreseeable future. I will quit it once I am no longer able to YouTube, but I will YouTube as long as time allows me or my circumstances allow me. Multiple questions by King Punch YT. Another guy. Check out his channel in the description. He's got 70 subscribers. He's great. His link will be in the description. All of you guys subscribe to him, we want to get him a lot more subs. Uh, his- one of his many questions was, What made you start doing YouTube, and why? Well, I looked at Flying Panda, and Ben Beckman, and all those YouTubers, primarily Flying Panda, and I wanted to YouTube like them, but that was only a small part of it. The most major reason was I just wanted to get my opinions on anime out there. I just wanted people to listen to my opinions, I wanted to put my opinions out there, I wanted to pitch theories. I just wanted to 
make people think differently about One Piece than they previously thought. Just put my opinions out there, have my opinions be heard. That's why I started One Piece YouTube. His next question was, how did you grow so big in a few months? I grinded, I put my video videos on Discord, and I grinded some more. That And also, I got a generous shout out by Kasa Aokiji. Thanks for that, Kasa, once more. I did get that shout out by Kasa, and I got a lot more subs through that. Another question by him. What made you do One Piece vids specifically? Well, One Piece is my favorite anime manga. And, uh, anime slash manga, One Piece is my favorite, so, and I'm most knowledgeable on One Piece, I know the most about One Piece, I can make the best theories about One Piece, so that's why One Piece is my primary, uh, source of videos. Next question, when will you show your face? I may never show my face, I may show my face. If I show my face, it will be at my 500th sub special video, or my 1000th sub special video. So be sure to subscribe to me if you want to see my face. His next question was, when will you do IRL sports and show it on camera, like in real life basketball or IRL basketball? I will not be doing that. His next question was, will you change your context, content to games like Roblox, NBA 2K19, etc. I will not be switching to gaming, unless I made the occasional video playing Anime Cross 2 on Roblox. But I probably will not even be doing that. There's a very low chance I will be doing that. But my um, content will stay anime-centered. If I do games, they will be anime games. I will not be switching to gaming. What are your goals in your, the future? I clarified with him the goals in the future means for my channel. My, I would like to get 2,000 subscribers. And if I hit 2,000 subscribers, I will think beyond that. His next question was, will you do funny trolling vids, vids on Discord sooner or later? No, I will not. Do you plan on collaborating with bigger YouTubers like Year 5 and Ben Beckman? Not at the moment, I am not big enough. If I could collab with bigger YouTubers, that would be great, that would be awesome. But I doubt that will happen. If it does happen, that would be great and you guys will enjoy it. I'm sure I will enjoy it. So, I'm not planning to, but hopefully I will be able to. His next question. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is burritos. I love good steak burrito with guacamole, sour cream, rice, pico de gallo, mango pico de gallo, mind you. Uh, good uh, corn tortilla. Uh, just all that good stuff. Black beans. Yeah, I love a good burrito. And finally, the last questions by the good old man. What is your age and what country do you live in? I am 13, I will be 14 in a few months, but at the moment, I am 13 years old. And what country do you live in? I live in the United States of America. So that's all for today, thank you guys for 100 subs again, and just really thank you for that, and as I said, check out Germa420, KD Dragon, and King... Punch's uh, YouTube channels. Their links will be in the description. Check them out. They're great. Uh, thank you for subscribing to me and getting me to 100 subs once more. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, and only if you enjoy my content, like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more One Piece content. I will see you in the next video.